welcome to Belfast's Botanic Gardens. The gardens are familiar to many as the home to the Ulster Museum, the Tropical Ravine and the Palm House. It's a popular place for anyone to come and take a walk or relax in the sunshine, but the gardens didn't always belong to the city. From the late 18th century through to the 19th century, there was a huge interest in the study of botany and gardening in Britain. The expansion of the empire had helped the import of exotic plants from across the globe, and botanical gardens were a means of showcasing these special plants and educating people about the plant's origins and relationships. A long-standing wish for a botanical garden in Belfast was realised in 1829, when the lands were leased to trustees of the Belfast Botanic and Horticultural Society. However, the gardens were only to be enjoyed by those who paid an admission fee, which was beyond what most working families could afford. In 1839, construction of the Palm House began, designed by Charles Lanyon. The Palm House is one of the oldest examples of a curvilinear cast iron glass house in the world. Construction began with the two wings, which were completed by 1840, and the central dome was added in the 1850s. The final design was different to what Lanyon had initially proposed, and it is possible that he was influenced by Turner's designs at Kew in the intervening years. Throughout the 19th century, a number of events were held in the park to earn additional income. In 1840, the society organized the Fête Champetre, which included dancing, a magic show, and jousting on ponies amongst its entertainment. In 1861, Charles Blondin, the first man to cross Niagara Falls on a tightrope, performed his tightrope act in the gardens. In 1864, the largest balloon at the time, the Britannia, rose to the air with 11 passengers. A key figure behind Belfast Botanic Gardens was Charles McKim, who began working in the gardens from 1874. During his time, he oversaw many improvements to the grounds. Perhaps his greatest achievement was the Tropical Ravine, originally known as the Glen. It was added to the gardens in 1889, and he undertook much of the basic construction himself. On completion, it was considered by some to be one of the finest and most artistically arranged fern houses in Europe. Despite the efforts of the society to increase income, in 1895, they sold the gardens to the Belfast Corporation to clear their debts. From this time, the Belfast Corporation opened the gardens to the public, making it Belfast's sixth public park. Today, the park continues to be enjoyed by many locals and visitors and continues to host a number of public events each year.